Hello, aspirants. Welcome to AgriVision for you. So, as you might all know, that uh, the CFTRI 2023 application form has been released uh, with the notification. The exam date has also been announced. So, uh, all of those of you who have not watched that video, a link will be shared in this video. You can visit that. Today, in this video, we're going to discuss how to fill the application form and how to go through with the application process. So, for that, first, let's visit the website. That is cftri.res.in, where all you need to do is just go on this announcement section. Usually it appears just as you open the website and go on to this MSc admission 2023 to 25 batch. Click on this link. This will take you to this window where all you have to do is register and log in. Now here, uh, as we are signing up for the first time, we have to do sign up and not log in. Login is for those who have already registered. So we'll click on sign up and start registering ourselves. Now that you can see that we have been registered. Uh, after registration, a password and a username will be shared to you via mail. And you just have to check your mail and there you will get all the details. So you click on the register slash login button again. This time you log in using the username. That is your email ID. Then you log in. When you log in, after successfully completing the registration process, after successfully logging in, you will find this proceed for online application button here. Just click on this and it will lead you to this application form. Now here the registration number would be given. Your full name will already be given. All you need to do is upload a recent photograph. So now please make sure while uploading a photograph that it's firstly it's a clear photograph and uh, with a plain background. And the most important things, the most mandatory things uh, that need to be kept in mind are the photo dimensions. Because if the photo dimensions are not as per the guidelines, the photo will not be uploaded and you will find it very difficult to upload the photograph here. So please make sure the photo dimensions are 150 width and 200 in height and the file size also remains uh, like compressed below 100 KB. If you are experiencing any trouble in that, then you can just compress the file online and then upload that compressed file. OK. Now after uploading your recent photograph here, you just upload your signature by choosing file. And then going wherever you have saved the photograph in your gallery. OK. Now after this mailing address is given. Now you need to uh, write the mailing address in block letters. Now we are coming on the details of payment. So you'll have to pay the application fee before you proceed on to the application form. Now you have to go to this link. OK, SBI collect that is given in bold red color. Click on this link. It will take you directly to the website of the bank. Now here you search the institution CFTRI in the search box. It will appear here. Please click on CFTRI and not CFTRI Education Society. Here you have to select a payment category, which would which would be HRD. Please click on HRD. It will take you to another page where you have to select application fee in choose category of payment. OK, so we have already selected application fee. Now you have to write your name here. OK, then you have to write your address, the mobile number that you uh, applied, uh, the, that you feed it in, then the email ID with which you registered. OK, these are mandatory. See, you can see stars here. So these are mandatory information that you have to fill. OK. Without that, you won't be able to proceed. Now details of course fee, you have to mention the details about the course fee, what are what is the course fee? Any other details if you'd like to mention like what the payment is about? The amount, please make sure you fill the correct amount that is uh, different for uh, the various categories. For general, it's different for other, it's different. And then you enter your details. And then when you do next, it will take you directly to verify payment details page where you have to verify all the details that you fed in and make sure that they're right because then 
so you don't have to face any problem in the later stages when you get admission or uh, after you have filled in the application form after verifying your payment details uh, make sure of course that you're paying to the right amount you're paying to the right uh, institute and you have your name and number and everything right then you have to complete the payment after verification and then it will directly take you to the print receipt uh, payment will only be completed when you receive the OTP and you uh, approve that OTP. And please make sure after the payment is, has been completed, you will have a receipt in your uh, on your laptop or computer, whatever you're logging in from. And please print that receipt and keep it with you safely because that will be needed as a document to be uploaded. So that is a proof of uh, your the fees that you paid. So please make sure that you save the receipt. Now, going back after you are done with this uh, payment procedure, then you have to choose the preferred place of. Uh, yeah, you have to upload the fee payment transaction PDF. So you would have, as I told you, uh, downloaded the receipt of the payment and then convert it into a PDF file and upload it here. OK, by clicking on choose file. Then after that, you will have to select three preferences for the place of examination that you are willing to uh, give the exam at. So here we have CFT, RMI, Mysore, Ghaziabad, Guwahati, Kolkata, Jammu, Bangalore, Pune, Hyderabad, Tiruvananthapuram. So these are the uh, locations where the examination would take place. So please choose a location nearest to you, most convenient to you. And you will have to have to choose three preferences. OK. Now education details. When you come to this section, you have to make sure that you are very accurate in uh, the information that you put and you might as well be evaluated on the basis of this. So here you have to put your name of school, board university that you studied from ICSC, CBSC, the subjects you, that you had chosen, then the year that you passed and the percentage that you got and the grade if there is any. Okay. Now here you have to choose the higher secondary or pre-university uh, school that you passed from. OK, and then the board university that was ICSC, CBSC, MP board or whatever in your case, state board. Then you have to choose the subjects here. Year of passing when you passed and percentage, then you have to do the same process for like your 10th class, your 12th class and your graduation degree. We move on to uh, graduation qualification details. Here specifically, they are asking for uh, the details of your graduation. OK, so you write the name of the degree course here. Whatever you studied, BSc, BTech. OK, and then you have to mention the duration of the course. Is it a three year course, four year course? Is it a six semester course or eight semester course? OK, after selecting this, what was the year of your passing or what will be the year of your passing? You have to mention. Now marks obtained, the marks that you obtained and the maximum marks that you obtained the these marks from need to be mentioned here. Then the CGPA, if CG usually CGPA or percentage is mentioned on your mark sheet, so you can just put the CGPA in. If in case uh, you don't have a CGP, you have a percentage base, then you can just convert those percentages into CGPA and write those write that in and cgp converted to percentage also you have to write so you can convert the cgp into percentage by multiplying 9.5 and vice versa okay now document for calculation of percentage in case of a document for calculation of percentage in case of grade declaration must be provided okay okay so guys here when we talk about document for calculation of percentage in case of grade declaration must be provided. You click on yes if uh, there is a particular form formula or a particular criterion that your college uses to convert percentages in, into grade. So if and you also have to provide documentation for that. OK, so if you have documentation for that, click on yes. If you don't, then click on no. OK, now up to which semester year marks are provided. 
here for example most of you might be studying in the last year some of you might have just cleared your uh, graduation degree so for those of you who are still in their last years semester last years or last semester and haven't still received their degrees or the mark sheets yet you need to specify until which semester or uh, which year you have the mark sheets available and you will have to showcase uh, your current semester mark sheet later on a later date so for what semester or year are you providing your marks for that you have all that you already have with yourself okay now we come on to uh, now here is a note that is given if the final mark sheet grade cards are not available at the time of submitting application it may be communicated to us in the above format now as i told you if you do not have your uh, final mark sheets yet you will have to uh, communicate or mail it to them at hrd at the rate cftri.res.in you will have to communi communicate that you do not have that at this link that is given and then you also have to quote your unique registration number to them and please make sure that you do this before 31st july 2023 because after 31st july 2023 they will not consider any application and then you might face problems in uh, going through with the process okay so please make sure that you uh, send them your final year mark sheet before 31st july 2023 now documentations to be uploaded what are the documents that you need to upload here first let us read this note upload self attested copies in support of documents now self attested copies are basically uh, copies of documents with your sign on it okay so you have to upload self attested that means uh, documents with your sign on it so of course they have to be uh, the copies of not the real documents you have to sign on a copy of document and then you have to upload that now firstly there is proof of date of birth again the choosing process will be the same as we chose the signature and the uh, photograph okay so you have to click on choose file and then you have to upload the self attested copy here of proof of date of birth then you also have to upload graduation marks cards all semesters and or years in single pdf so do not make like do not uh, upload them in like different different images image forms please make sure that you make a pdf of all the semester year mark sheets that you have okay and then for the candidates who had uh, selected the cast ews defense industry sponsored uh, categories in the category section you have to upload a proof of your cast ews certificate or uh, defense or industry sponsored proof certificate you will have to upload here by choosing file then if you had uh, selected in that you are specially able if you had uh, clicked on yes on specially able then you will have also have to upload a disability certificate okay and then parent guardian's latest income tax return filed or income proof that you can upload here and any other optional document for example your driving license or aadhar card if you want to you can upload here okay after this all you need to do is just save application yeah so please make sure that uh, the information filled in this application form is true to the best of your knowledge and uh, after you have saved the application form please save the receipt and the uh, uh, final application form that has been processed so i hope you found this video very informative and useful uh, for more such informative videos you can uh, subscribe to our channel agrivision for you you can also visit our website www.agrivisionforyou.com where we regularly update on various test series and courses that we have running for cftri 2023 and you can give your preparation a boost so thank you so much